Choose this, that. Okay, so this just literally just came up. I fill my thermometers with a combination of rubbing alcohol. It's not mercury. Everybody you know assumes mercury, and it's common to assume that. It's, it's rubbing alcohol, 70% isopropyl with glycerin. Then I color it with food coloring. Okay, very simple. Every so often, I have an issue. Uh oh. Somebody made a mess. Wow. Somebody made a mess. Whoa. Sheesh. Oh. At least we can agree that the countertop is very clean back there in the weather center and disinfected because of the, look at that, look at that. It's just, it's there now. Now I gotta remix this and get up my proportions right and then test a few thermometers to make the color to alcohol ratio accurate. Okay, thermometer, hashtag thermometer problems. Yes. <laughs> We've got our winner today, Gloria Martinez of San Antonio, the Gloria Martinez, who uh, just replied to my email. So we'll uh, be chatting about picking up your homemade thermometer, ksat.com slash thermometer to enter the drawing. And that's why my fingers are all black and green. Right I was going to say, you don't have a green thumb. <laughs> it's, it's a rubbing alcohol? Yeah. 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 A little thermometer Clean thumb? up there, a little smudge on your countertop. Mm.